Guys, welcome back, Grant Training Systems. Uh, the towel exercises that we briefly discussed yesterday to take care of the medial tibialis stress syndrome or the shin splints. Uh, you might be looking right now wondering why the hell I have uh, a towel on the floor and I'm going to be doing foot exercises to take care of an injury here. But uh, what we need to understand is that the muscles that are uh, causing the pain in our lower leg might, they originate from here, but they're connecting at the bottom of the foot. Uh, basically, the three involved are uh, in the posterior compartment, this back portion compartment behind our bone. And uh, one of them is quite large, the post hit, as we spoke about yesterday, attaches in very areas, is on the bottom of the foot. But then we've got two other small ones, one that flexes the big toe and other ones that flex the rest of the toes. And they too connect at various areas around, again, the bottom of our foot, saying it simply. So what we need to do is we need to strengthen those muscles in order to support this arch right here. Because when this arch flattens, it's putting an extra stress load on these muscles that they can't or are not supposed to uh, deal with. This arch should be supported and allow the muscles to do what they're supposed to do from pulling up the foot, everting the foot, inverting the foot, everting the foot. They should not be focusing on always the stress of this arch collapsing. So what we want to do is we want to strengthen that arch to take the extra responsibilities from these muscles away in order for the pain to get better if that makes sense. So, what we're going to do, as I said, a lot of those muscles connect to the bottom of the foot and the arch. We want to strengthen the arch. And how do we do that? We do that by working these muscles and working the arch. So the first one is going to be just a simple towel curl, just like this. Using our toes to grip that towel, which is stuck to the floor, and really just pulling that towel in. Obviously, when it becomes cramped up like that, we just kick it behind ourselves and we just continue. So that is one direction. Uh, this towel is a bit small. Usually I would suggest using a bath towel as a beach towel would be way too long and you'd be here all day. So I suggest a longer towel and if a longer towel is still too simple, you can use something like a soup can or a light weight to put on the end to increase the resistance. But after you've finished the first exercise in the, the plane in front of you, we want to also focus on the medial plane and the lateral plane. So here, it's the same exercise using the toes to cramp down on that towel, but now we want to use like a wind wiper motion and use that ankle to pull that towel. Again, this towel is a bit small, so it's finished a bit quick, but if I had a longer towel, it would take a bit longer. Notice, however, as I talked about a windshield wiper, my foot is turning, but my whole leg is not. So really try to isolate that ankle and turn it and not the entire leg. So after we do it from the medial side, we're going to come from the lateral side. And again, we're just going to pull that towel in. So again, I would suggest a longer towel. Unfortunately, I don't have one with me. So I just use a smaller one just so you guys get the idea. But again, we spoke about the muscles connecting at the bottom and strengthening that arch. That is the most important thing we can do. Uh, there's other ways to support that arch, such as orthotics and a shoe, which we're going to talk about big, a bit in the next video because the simplicity of an orthotic arch is not as simple as it actually, as we like to think it is. So that, that's another video, but that is a nice way also to support this complex. But at the end of the day, the, the, I think the best way we can do it is by strengthening our own muscles so they, um, so, so your leg can basically do it on its own. So again, to recap the towel exercises, we have the Lateral pull, coming from the front with the toes, and then pulling medial to lateral here, again using the foot and not the knee. With a large towel, I would suggest doing each, each exercise two times, uh, pulling from in and then both sides. You're going to probably feel some of the pain, again, down in the bottom of the foot, which is good because we're attempting to strengthen the arch. Or you also might feel some of the pain either down in the bottom of your leg or even on the side as you pull from the other direction. Either way, these are the muscles that are weak, that are causing the shin splint pain. So when we strengthen these and we help support that arch, you start to notice your pain go away. So start with those exercises. Uh, if you have any further questions, let me know. And if you want to learn a bit more about the arch, watch the next video where I go into a bit more detail about why the arch of our foot is so important and why it's causing that injury. So, hope that made sense. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next video.